What's up guys, welcome back to a new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Now, as the title suggests, we're going to be using a bronze deck in the KC Cup. Oh boy, this is going to be an experience, that's for sure. Right now I'm at like dual level 15, I believe, so this is going to be a fun time playing this deck. The reason why I thought of this idea is because one of my friends, his name is Eskuo, he recently got back into Duel Links after being on a hiatus for like a few months now. And yeah, he's back in like bronze from like plat or legend rank or something like that. So he's been sending me some screenshots of some of these decks that um, he's been facing against. And for a video idea, I was like, hey, maybe I could use these bronze decks in the KC Cup for video ideas. So that's why this video is here. Um, originally, I wasn't going to do a deck profile because I thought it was going to take too long. But uh, yeah, we're just going to just roll with it. We're going to roll with it. We're going to do a whole deck profile on this thing. But if you guys don't want to see this amazing deck um, in full review, you guys can skip to whatever timestamp on the screen, either in the description or in the comment section down below. Wherever I decide to put the timestamp, you guys can skip to that where I get to the actual PvP duels. But let's go into this spicy 30 card deck from a bronze player. Now, I will have a screenshot of the, like, the original screenshot of the person using uh, this deck on the screen. Um, I forgot what his name was. I think it was saying, like Sheen or whatever. That's his uh, Duel Links uh, tag. But yeah, this 30 card deck is pretty interesting, that's for sure. So let's just get on to this. So we're running the Dark Magician Girl. Not bad, not bad. You gotta throw in a waifu in the deck to make it pretty solid. We got Ginsky Chain, because I mean, why not? I think there's only like, what, one other water monster in here? Let's get it going. Yeah, that's a wind monster. So yeah, we got some water monsters here. Not bad, not bad. We got Big Shield Guard. Now you need that big defense. 2600 defense baby not too bad not too bad uh fun fact i actually did not have a big shield garden up beforehand uh before this video uh or before i built this deck so i went to the car trader and bought one real quick i never thought that i needed a big shield garden up but you know when you gotta recreate a bronze deck you gotta pick up that big shield garden from the car trader uh we got this card called like tenma e apparently this is from the crimson kingdom box which is pretty interesting. Uh, this card's pretty random. I mean, its effect sounds good on paper, but it doesn't really work in this meta. Uh, your opponent can activate card or effects in response to the activation of any uh, monster effect activated by a monster that was normal summer set. Yeah, it's a five star kind of man. This card right here, Dragon Ignite Creation from the latest uh, structure deck, not too bad. Uh, this one's not too bad. It's the 1850 Evil Storm Janic. If we pop off of this effect, I'm going to laugh because we're probably going to go against some meta decks with uh, this uh, bronze deck in the KC Cup. But yeah, if this guy gets destroyed, you can target a special summon five or higher monster to field destroy that card target. So that would be really cool if we pop off of that. I really like that. We got World Caraway Champion. I mean, it's a really good attack if you think about it. It's a 1900 attack. If you have a plant monster on, on the field, which we have no plant monsters, but if I did, we could activate World Caraway's uh, effect, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, we got uh, RMC Hunter. Pretty cool. We got Hydra or Oxygedon. Now, the only reason why I have this card currently um, in this deck is because the original build had a uh, Destroyosaurus. And that's like an 1800 uh, dinosaur that allows you to uh, discard and search for Jurassic World, which by the way, this deck doesn't have Jurassic World, nor is using the skill Jurassic World, so I don't know why you put a Destroyer Source in the deck build originally, but I didn't, I didn't have one because when the Super Rex event happened like a lot of months back, it was like a while ago, he never dropped me a Destroyer Source, and I was sad about that, but I didn't want to waste an SR ticket on getting a Destroyer Source, so we're just going to replace it with Oxygenon. I think technically Oxygenon is going to work better in this deck because, I mean, if I go against a pyro type monster, if it's like, you know, destroy my balance, it's a graveyard from a pyro monster, each player takes 8,000 damage, but I doubt that's going to happen, but technically this card is a better effect than destroy a source for this deck build specifically, but it's going to be fine. There's also another card that I switched out because I didn't have it that is actually worse than the original card, but yeah, we got Ryo Taurus, not bad, 1800, if, if, you, if two or more of your opponent's monsters were destroyed by battle with your monsters or insane battle phase card can make second attack not bad no Mobasa can deal 500 damage but he this person's only running one copy of this card in the deck cross sword beetle why not 1800 vampire koala let's get it 1800 guy gain life points uh for your damage not bad not bad we got the prismatic dark magician while this kid wasn't running a prismatic dark magician um there's still dark magician right here which is pretty cool and then he was also running a red eyes uh black dragon because why not i have my prismatic too we're just showing off today we're showing off cards today um, we also have a summon skull, not bad, not bad, 2500, one tribute, not bad. Labyrinth Wall, hey, 3000 defense, pretty good, pretty good. We got XA Aru Piranha, there we go, 1800. Now let's get on to uh, the, the spell and trap. So we're running our dragon's gunfire, which the only time we can use it is either when black dragon's on the board or when um, these two are on the board, Dragonic Knight or Evil Storm Sark. So, I mean, he has three dragons in the deck, so maybe we could pop off with dragon's gunfire. 
Econ, that's actually a good card in this deck. It's probably, like, the best card in this deck, to be honest, because it can work in, like, pretty much any deck. Uh, we have Lucky Iron Axe for that nice equip, nice 500 attack. Sort of Deep Slate Seated, I are Slated. I hate, I don't like this card. This card, I feel like it's garbage. I'd rather have two Lucky Iron Axes, because if your monster gets destroyed while equipped with this card, it's going to go back to the top of your deck, and I hate that. Uh, block Attack, ah. Oh. OG card right here. I respect it. I respect it. Block Attack, best card in the game. Better than Econ. Book of Secret Arts is actually a replacement, so originally this guy was playing uh, Magical Formula, but like I said, with the Destroyosaurus uh, replacement, I just didn't want to waste an SR ticket, so I decided to go with the Book of Secret Arts, which is actually worse than uh, the Magical Formula, because Magical Formula is a spell card that equips to either Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl, gives them 700 attack. Well, it looks like we only have two spellcasters, and yeah, what is it? Book of Secret Arts only gives you 300 attack and defense. Not too good. Goblin Feast, deal 500 damage, gain 500 life points. Let's get it. Hit Matsama, 500 damage. Not bad. Tribute Doll, it could probably work out in this deck. You can tribute one of your monsters and then special summon a 7 monster from your hand that's normal summon a 7. I actually like this card back in the day. It was pretty cool, but not really played that much uh, today because there's no reason to. Uh, this card, I have no clue what it does, so I'm not going to read it. Security Orb, switch opponents, monsters to defense position, and last but not least, Conscription. An OG card. You can see the top card of your opponent's deck, and if it's a monster, especially when it hits your side of the field. That'd be funny if we pulled it off. But yeah, we are going to be playing this a 30 card deck. Uh, madness. This is a bronze deck, like I said. Let's go switch out to the KC Cup duels, and hopefully we can get a win. If I get a win, you better go smash the like button down below, uh, boys and girls. But most likely, we're going to get lot of L's, and I'm going to go down a uh, dual level for the KC Cup. Yikes. But let's go switch on to these uh, spicy KC Cup duels. Oh boy, first match of the day. Dual level 15, baby. Let's get it. I'm going down to 14 today. That's my goal today, is go down to uh, dual level 14. I don't know how many duels I'm going to do for today's video, but uh, yeah, Chicken Noob. Ooh, he's a gold player. He's a, he's a gold player. Maybe I'll have a chance. Maybe I'll have a chance. If I have a chance, it's going to be amazing, but... Uh, let's, let's, let's loosen up. Going first, let's see, um, how my opening hand's gonna go. Oh, no, if I win, I'm gonna level up and play this deck. Oh, no. Okay, you know what, this is not a bad opening hand. First of all, we're gonna, we're gonna go aggro, baby. We're going aggro. Goblin Fee, straight off the bat, and let's play the big shield guard, and call it good. This kid's not ready for my 30 card deck, let me tell you. He is not ready. He is not ready. What deck is this first playing? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Ooh, which one do I want to go? Okay, so it doesn't really matter. All these guys have really no effects right now. I could summon my Tensu Tedne, whatever you call this thing. But oh, I want the defense right now. I want the defense. We're chilling. Let's see. Let's see what this guy's playing. Oh no! We're going against Sylvans. Ah, we're taking an L real quick. Man, if I was playing Sylvans and I set a monster down with like Kushmal or whatever, things would have been good. You got the Guard Oak, you got the Hermit Tree. Ooh, Kushmal, good thing I'm not playing back row and an Econ. Okay, we're actually sitting pretty good. He actually didn't really get that good of mills. Issue is though, Hermit Tree is going to give him some card advantage. So if he has like a Marsh Leaf in hand, he's going to rock. He's going to rock our world, man. Guard Oak is going to return cards. I think it goes to the top. Oh, it goes to the bottom still. Having them at the bottom is not bad. Okay, so Hermit Tree's going to the bottom. That's not bad. None of our guys died, though, but we know what we're going against. We should have uh, should have went for the Tribute Summon to get over that 2,000 uh, wall. Because this guy, this deck, does not have any uh, outs. Well, no, it's still got stuff like Econ. we got Equip Cards. I think we can actually survive. I think we can actually survive. Okay, so let's see if our world's going to get rocked. So we can easily get OTK'd. He has a Car he has a Caraway Champion in the grave. He has a Rose Lover probably in hand. If he has a Rose Lover in hand, he can discard a Rose Lover and go for Caraway. I think our world's going to get rocked. Yep. Yep. Is it going to be Rose Lover? Ah, dude. I know the combos because I play this deck. If you guys missed out, I actually did a KC Cup live stream, which was a ton of fun. I enjoyed that live stream. I was playing Sylvan's on stream, and I got a little bit of hate for that, but, you know, this is, this is, uh, getting some Sylvan hate back for, uh, banishing kids to the Shadow Realm. Oh, Guard Oak 2. He's going to Excavate three. I think I'm oh baby. Hermit tree? Okay. Can you be like uh oh he got two Marshall he's gonna take up yeah we're gonna OTK'd. Yep, we're gonna OTK'd. We're gonna OTK'd. Ah, oh, if he landed one Marshall Leaf would have been fine. We actually would have survived. Well, I wouldn't say we would have been fine, but let's see, what would be the first target he would go for? 
Okay, he would have went for Big Shield Garden. I was hoping that he would only mill like one Marsh Leaf and only take out my Big Shield Gardener. I mean, not take out my Big Shield Gardener. Still, it wouldn't matter. It would have been able to attack twice. It's just a recipe for disaster. Oh, bronze, bronze deck versus Sylvans. Oh, ah, oh, he saw a normal summon. Another Gardo. Bro, you need to chill. You need to chill. Good thing I had that extra 500 life points, man, from that Goblin Thief, if you know what I mean. Jeez, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but we just got destroyed by a gold player with, uh, that. hey, for anybody who's trying to climb the KC Cup, Sylvans are the way to go. It's a really solid deck. And I could play it, dude. Like, most of the, like, the only cards that are SR that you would need is, like, Rose Lover, but Rose Lover is from, like, the card trader. So it's, like, then that's a free-to-play card, easy to get right now. What else? You need Giga Plant, you can get Giga Plant from the same box as Sylvans. You need Kushimaro, box from Sylvans. It's a really solid deck. Well, let's get on to the next uh, duel, baby. That was a quick one. Okay, come on, Duel Links. Give me some lower competition, okay? Give me some lower competition. Um, I'm trying to play... A good bronze deck right now, okay? Okay, we gotta, we gotta, this guy has been a King of Games player. Is he playing Hazy? Dude, this deck can take on Hazy. This deck can take on Hazy, I know it. Okay, for whatever reason, we're still gonna win if we level up. That doesn't make sense to me, but, um, yeah. Oh, hit the top, not bad, not bad. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling, I'm not feeling this hand, to be honest. This back row that we have is non-existent. I think the only back row that this deck has is Security Orb, Conscription, and Econ. Like, that's defense. Defense stuff. I think those are the only three. Oh, are you playing Slash on me, bro? I can't <laughs> I can't handle Slash right now. Is that a Prismatic Poly? You need a chill, Kaiba. Yeah, that's a Prismatic Poly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you're playing D-Heroes. Oh, and if you set that card that you have in your hand... Oh no. Oh, Pete gets the plus two with Select. Oh, okay. Draw. That is not what we needed. What can we. Well, first of all, we're gonna show our dominance with uh, the Hitmotama. Okay. Let's see. When this card. Yeah, we can't destroy it right now. We can send. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. I wish we could really pop off. We literally can't do anything towards this person, huh? Yikes, we're just gonna have to stall, baby. We're gonna have to stall. I showed my dominance, but I didn't that. I can't really do much. This bronze deck, man. If I can get a win, that'd be great, but I think most everybody was expecting me to take some L's with this bronze deck. I, I could probably show you guys some of the other options that I could have played, um, but they were pretty much all the same. It was just a one card of each card of, like, in a 30 card. It was, like, all 30 card decks, like, minimal back row ratio like monster back row ratio is like not even it's a mess it's a mess god our world's gonna get rocked come on i gotta believe in the heart of the cards we're gonna believe in the heart of the bronze players no skills needed baby we don't need no skills yeah it also sucks that yeah this kid's not playing any skills draw book of secret arts baby okay you know what we're memeing today we, we got this. We got this. We're going to play that. We're going to show our dominance. We're taking out that, uh, that decider. It's going to call it Celestial, but that's in the Banish. Banish, baby. Oh, baby. You ain't ready for this, bro. You ain't ready for this. Yo, I'm asserting my dominance today. What is it? Econ, Wall of Disruption. Mirror Wall. I mean, were we going to win? No. Probably could have stalled still. Probably could have waited for Econ. Oh, man, I shouldn't have attacked. See, look, I'm playing a bronze deck, and I'm making bronze moves, to be honest. Then again, I, we all know what level 7 should be in bronze. It's just it's a fluke that he got to uh, Legend last season. Let's be real here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Louise. King of the Swamp BM. Is he going to fuse? Is he going to fuse again? Is he going to go for poly fuse for Decider? Or not Decider. Uh, dangerous. Did he go pay to win? Is he pay to win? No, I don't think he's pay to win. We could have stalled another turn, to be honest. Hopefully the draws is something like Econ or Conscription. But, uh, no. We attacked because we're inserting our dominance today. Okay, next duel, let's, let's play more tactically. Let's keep stalling until we get Econ. I think the only way we're going to even have a fraction of a chance to win is if we draw to something like Econ. Because Econ's, like, one of the best cards in the game. Taking another L real quick. We're going down. We're going down the ranks. We're going down the ranks. I'm scared. I'm not prepared. 
Next duel. Next duel. Oh, why? It goes from gold player to plat player to now a legend player that's won two times king in a row last season. Uh, previous seasons. Come on, Duel Links. Cut me some slack. Cut me some slack, Duel Links. Duel Links, come on. Cut me some slack. That is a terrible hand. Um, what has the most defense? Yo, go on, baby. Oh my god, he's playing beatdown too. Uh, he's probably playing hazy. If you're going against a crawler and he's not playing middle age max, it's a beatdown. It's a beatdown deck. It's a beatdown deck. Yep, yep, this is part of the beatdown deck. Ah, uh, first turn two with this guy. That card's not bad. I might actually want to pick some up. Huh. <laughs> Yep, it's beat down. Oh, now if we get Econ. Well, <laughs> we can't we can't target. Baby, let's get it. <laughs> Forgot about Big Shield. Yo, Big Shield Guard uh, coming in clutch. Coming in clutch, guys. You beat down me all you want. I don't know why you, oh, oh snap. Don't worry, we got Big Shield Guard on deck. We're making some. We're making some plays today. Ah, oh, don't be like that. Oh, wait, no, we're gonna take too much damage. That would be amazing if we could pay 2k for, uh, for, um, what's it called? For Dark Magician. That would have been amazing if we could pay, uh, 2,000. Holy, dude, these duels are going by so fast. This poor deck cannot handle it, man. This deck just can't handle this meta, bro. Oh, my goodness. We're just getting smacked. I mean, for anybody that clicked on this video, I doubt you really, like, I doubt you would like really even like be surprised that we're taking these many L's, but still, I think what I do. Oh, nice, we got balance to take it. But next time I do this video, I will put an effort to like at least show one win. I'll try to put the effort to at least get a win and something like that. Cause I might, I could do the series and like playing like rookie decks and legend rank, playing rookie decks and king of games. But I never hit king of games, so that's probably not gonna happen. But still, I gotta do like more stuff like that in the future. Uh, when it comes to this series, so I got you guys. I got you guys. I think we can do like a lot of variants of this series, which would be uh, fun. But next time, when I keep doing episodes like this, I'm gonna try to get some W's. Try to get some W's. Going to get some Rex. Going to get some Rex. I like it. I like it. Let's get it. Dinosaur Kingdom. Good thing we got a Dino in our deck. Ah, oh, baby, this is what we needed. Bro, and I think block attack actually could have worked against Hazy. Yeah, it says select. I mean, I think it could still... Well, it doesn't say target. It says select. Bro. For anybody having a problem with Hazy, tech in that block attack and you're good to go. Okay. Oh, dude, we got some back row. We got some back row. Well, let's throw our dominance today, baby. Let's play that block attack. It's getting ready for this. Block attack. Okay, he has Econ. That's 100% Econ. There's no reaction to, like, um... There's no reaction to that. Well, if it's Econ, I might as well attack. I was actually gonna wait, because I don't want my Caraway to be in defense position, but if it's Econ, it doesn't matter. Because he could just play it on his turn. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Good thing we got security already, guys. Ah, uh, sucks. Yeah, he opened up Hydro Get on turn one. This deck doesn't have any back row removal, so at some point I was gonna have to go against the decon. That's lame. Um, is long he he's gonna summon another monster. There's no doubt about it. Or or he does that. That works too. That works too. I had hope. I had hope. I had hope to be honest. And he didn't even have a monster too. I had hope, guys. I really did. I really did. Had hope in this duel. You got that security orb on deck, and you're like, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Okay. Depends on this next draw. What are we getting? What are we getting? <sighs> ay, 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 man. Ay, ay, ay. This deck needs some improvement. This deck needs some uh, consistency. That's for sure. Sheen, Sean, Sean, Sheen, Sean. My boy, if you ever watch this video in the future, Please build another better deck on this. I can't. Oh yeah, it's like locked in forever. Okay, I think I'm gonna take one more L in today's video. 
I think we're gonna take uh, one more L in today's video and call it good. So it's, it's a tough world out there, guys. Let me tell you, it's a tough world in the KC Cup. You gotta be like the top of the top. You gotta be the top of the top. I don't know why I'm still in 15. Probably because I won a lot, bro. So it's a good deck. It's a good deck. I love it. I love it. Last duel of today's video. I said my goal is to get to uh, duel level 14, and I think this will be the final final loss that we get in today's uh, episode when it comes to that. <laughs> oh man, dude. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. Bandicoot, I like it. I like it. Going first, he's gonna win. He's gonna, if he, yeah. I got you, bro. You're leveling up today. What are these hands, man? Like, I know the deck's not good, but, like, what are these hands? Oh, see, stealth attack. Yikes. And we're going for her. No. 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 I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Yeah, it's a tough world out there. Oh, dude, dude, only do that, please. Bandit Keith, only do that. Bandit, Bandit Keith. You're not doing anything else. You got a bad hand. You got a really bad hand, man. I'm just telling you, Handy Man, you got a really bad hand. You're not gonna summon any water monsters. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop. Bandit, stop it, stop. Get some help. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, what are, what are these memes, bro? What are these memes? God, this deck, I don't like this deck. I don't like playing this bronze player deck. It's like torture, dude. Trying to get a win with a deck like this. I'm gonna hold that sea stealth attack. I think it's sea self attack. See, I could be casual. Yeah, it's sea self attack. Okay, let's let's inflict some damage. Yeah, let's get that guy out of here. Let's get the guy out of here. We actually killed the monster. That's that's a that's an achievement. That's an achievement. Please, did this guy just have a really bad build? I hope he did, because I really want to title this video "Winning Against Some." Bro. Bro. Okay, so logical play might as well. Might as well go for the tribute. Might as well. There's like no reason not to. Okay. Thick, thick 2000. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, should we go now? I think I'm gonna wait till the end of the turn. I'm gonna wait till the end of the turn to play Conscription. If we can pull out Conscription, this video is gonna be amazing. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. No! Damn it. No, I just gave him Legendary Ocean. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Dang, I gave him Legendary Ocean. That is really bad. Come on, Bandit Keith. I gave you Legendary Ocean. Let me just... Let... No, it's Econ! No! No, 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 and I just gave him Legendary Ocean. No! No. It's he's yeah, this is game over. It's game over. He had five star monsters. It's game over. Guys, it's game over. Oh no. Oh no. I had a hope. Okay. Okay, you know, I actually should have put the Nimble Will Boss in attack position. To be all fair and honest, I should have done it. Any damage at this point. Any damage, any damage at this point would have been the optimal decision. We have 4,000 life points, okay? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, come on. That's not what we needed at all. Now, it's gonna help. It's gonna help, okay? It's gonna help. If he, he, he has been having some pretty bad luck with uh, his draws, so it's going to help. Problem is, though, if he gets his Sidelwell, it's going to be more of the big shield Gardener. 
That's not cool. Oh. Okay. Come on. No, we're gonna we're taking massive damage because Big Shield Garden is gonna go to attack position. Big Shield, oh jeez, no. It's a, it's it's been a sad day, guys. It's been it's been a it's been a sad sad boys sad boys sad boys. I don't like this. Okay, he's only at. Okay, we're living. We're living. We're living, baby. We're gonna take some big damage, but we're living. Oh, man. My palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. You're getting attacked by a citadel whale, and I'm just not ready. Oh, snap. That's annoying. That one's not a original five. Oh, it doesn't even matter. He just pops them. See self attack. That's like no. We have no monsters on the board. No, no. We. I had hope. Oh, the conscription did not come in clutch for us. We played it at the wrong time. We gave him the legendary ocean, and after that, it was ripped in the pepperonis. Yep, we're gonna. We're just gonna. We're gonna get smacked for this. That would have been amazing if we would have won against the SSA player. That would have been amazing, guys. Holy dude. Well, that's going to be uh, doing it for, for today's uh, Duel Links episode. If you guys enjoyed uh, this video, be sure to smash the like button down below. No, I said earlier that if I win, you better smash the like button down below. But I didn't say... But, like, if I won, that would have been, like, a guaranteed like. This like that I'm telling you guys to, like, like the video is just if you guys enjoyed it and you had a good time. I would appreciate the like button. That's just, like, an appreciated like. Not, like, I you, you need to. You know what I mean? And then, also, if you guys like this uh, type of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, too. And, uh, last but not least, go join my Discord. The link in the description. I'm super active on Discord. And yeah, but that's going to do it for today's uh, Duel Links video. I had a ton of fun recording this video, even though I took five L's with this bronze deck. Can't wait to do another episode of this series, and I hope you guys are excited for it too. But that's going to be doing it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.